Um, got a chance to run a 40, and I feel like I did really good in that. I'm not sure what my exact times were, but I felt good overall. Did really good in the route portion, very fluent, and that's what I've set myself to prove to anybody who watches. Devin, what's this process been like for you so far, just getting back into things? Uh, it's been a journey. It's been quite an extraordinary journey, but um, I've been a guy that's faced adversity my whole life, so I just look at it as, you know, just continue to prove people wrong and show them that God is good. <laughs> you hearing from anybody? Have you had any particular teams? Um, yeah, I'm getting some talk from a few different teams. I'm letting my agent handle that part. But, um, you know, I, I look at it as a game of, you know, just trying to be patient. There's still a lot of going on with the free agency, the drafts coming up. But um, I control what I can, and that's come out here with the opportunity given and show that I'm still a good receiver. How frustrating is it to having to keep proving people wrong? You know you can catch. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, it's not that frustrating. Um, I feel like a lot of people should still know that I could be a good player. I feel like it's more so uh, the medical part and just wondering if I'd be okay cleared to play. And that's the frustrating part. But um, I had a surgery that um, my doctors put a titanium steel plate in my head and it's harder than human skull. So that was like last October, and that pretty much changed the game for me for from a safety standpoint. And my doctor himself has said it, it, I'll be fine. So I don't even think about that part that much. I'm no, with the opportunity given, the team bring me in, I'll have to be seen by their doctors anyway, but I know I'll be cool. Yes, my doctor um, said I'd be great. He, he was one that, I had two doctors that worked on me when I initially had my incident, but um, the plastic surgeon guy is the one who suggested that I get the surgery. And he said it would be great for me for my everyday life, just you know, in case I hit my head or do anything, you know, I could be looking at a whole other situation. But now I'm like, man, it's still, so hey, I'm ready. What was the recovery of that surgery like more recently? Um, just a week of chilling, you know, just, I had a little swelling and had to let that go down. And, and my doctors always told me, you know, you're a great athlete, you're in great shape. So um, just take your time on a working out tip, but you know, as good as you feel, you can push yourself. So um, I never overwork myself, but I will always try to push my limits just to see you know, how I feel physically and if my body responds in a funny way where I need to say, hey, Relax, but never have. It's one thing to have to convince an NFL guy to take a chance. What about people close to you who love you, man? Or did you have to convince them that it's okay for you to chase the strange Uh, No. I mean, everybody who's extremely close to me knows the love that I have for the game. And of course, you know, it's all about safety first. And um, at first, you know, they, they weren't really thinking like, oh, you should try to make a return. But, um, the whole healing process for me has been very good. Um, like I was able to actually run routes five months after the shooting, and that says a lot, you know. Um, just me being able to see myself do that, just let myself know, man. You know, it's probably gonna be a long road, but I've been down the road like this before, just facing adversity and just pushing through it. And you know, that's just you know, I have a positive mindset that. If I set my mind up to do something, I, I can make it happen.